We're Harold Meyerowitz. You're on the list for the public viewing. Right now, this is a private viewing. Hello, it's a mistake. Hello, this is bullshit. That she hears everything you're saying. How'd you create a movie from a script? When Noah and I started talking together, because uh, it's important, Noah agrees that we find a way to rehearse, because films uh, don't rehearse uh, in, the, in the conventional way. Who's ever paying for the film does not want to hire DPs and crew and everything. And when, if they're not shooting, because those people think you're not making a movie unless you're shooting. But you're also making a movie when you're just talking. And we did a lot of uh, Did you talk a lot? I did. I listened to all of them. We all talked a lot. Yeah. yeah. For, for months, we, you know, Noah would come up and we would talk. And we found a lot of similarities uh, in our family. <laughs> Literally, they uh, take all of the little birds and deep fry them and just <laughs> It's very sad. There are no little birds left in Italy anymore. They've eaten them all. How's it been working for Netflix for your acting career? It's been great to me. I don't know that, you know, there's other ways to do it, but this is the way I have. I'm, I'm doing my relationship with them has been great. It allowed me to be uh, free creatively, and it was just a, a really close with uh, Ted Sarandos and the, and the whole team. It's an exciting place to be right now for me. Are you Harold Meyerowitz's son, Matthew? Yes. Uh, and this is Danny, also Harold Meyerowitz's son. I didn't realize he had two sons. And a daughter. What's it like to work with Dustin Hoffman? I love uh, Dustin's incredibly uh, uh, encouraging. Son of a bitch! Just a great person to be looking at during a scene and feel like you want, your partner wants you to do the best, best you can do. You are going to meet a lot of interesting new people. Dustin also is so, I mean, he, you know, he's so thorough and, and asks so many questions and, and ex sort of just so open to exploration with his own character, but he also is that way, as Adam's saying, about everything and, and will even point out things about the script, you know, he, he just, he sees the movie and he's a great storyteller, so he would say like, you know, maybe will people understand this and this. I don't think actors should play parts unless they're in it. Otherwise it looks like they're performing a part. Oh, so-and-so is an asshole, but I'm not an asshole, so I'll just perform an asshole. I'll just get a few people in my head that I know real people that are assholes, and I'll just do that. I think we have the asshole in us, all of us, and uh, we have, and, and it's up to us to enlarge on that. And I thought what Adam was doing, because I couldn't put it into words, I agree with Noah, that there was something about him uh, that I had not seen before, and I know him, and I'd done another, another film with him. And I went home and I said to my wife, I said, I think Adam has hit a part of himself that, you know, that he would be the person if, that he that didn't make it. Do you bring your own life into the things that you like? There's a distinction between personal and autobiographical. Um, you know, I've only made a movie, The Squid and the Whale, which was uh, people right out of the gate assumed was, you know, my story or something. And, and it, I did use sort of a lot of elements from my life in that movie, but it was total fiction at the same time. And, and you know, so the, the uh, you know, but I, I, I think the same, the same is true here. I mean, these are, you know, it's taken from all over. I mean, I'll steal or, or borrow from, from <laughs> whatever works for the story, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, I made a movie, Francis Ha, which, you know, was about a 27-year-old woman sort of figuring out her life, and that felt equally personal to me as, as The Squid and the Whale did, or this movie did. Well, live my life and never stop to worry about a thing. Open up and shout it out.